are you here today? I don't know. I'm here because they asked me to come, and they said, Pat, come on down. We haven't seen you in a while, so I'm here. And it's, it's about time you invited me, because I'm tired of me turning around, figuring out if I should do the show, I shouldn't do the show. I'm, a, I'm an important guest, and if I'm an important guest, you've got to invite me. I like right. to be invited. I like to be treated like, like he likes to be treated, like something important. Now, maybe to him, I'm not as important, but to me, I'm important. And I'm not here, and I hope he ain't setting me up with these three guys who claim that I badmouthed them, because if he does that, there's going to be a war in here. It's wrong. It's wrong. Right, because, because if I'm his friend, he would trust me and understand that what I did to this guy for this man, none of these three kids would do, and all they want is 15 seconds of fame. But to pick on me, they picked on the wrong guy. And he knows what I'm going to tell him. If he does this, then he has no respect for me. Let him do it to Leno, and let him do it to Letterman. He ain't got the balls. But to pick on me and make me the, 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 the butt of his bullshit, then we got a problem. Then we got a problem. Because they, my dignity is on the line here, and he ain't got enough fame or money to fuck with my dignity. And he better know that. He can't play with my dignity and my character as a man. I yell and scream for decency and good things. I put my family on the line on this show for this guy. Now, yeah, but meanwhile, Sam Kennison is his idol. A drug addict is his idol. That's okay. That he believes. Sam Kennison's brother, he believes. He believes Sam Kennison. Don't believe Pat Cooper. Now I gotta think. Well, I got three, three, three guys who claim if you put me down. If I put Howard Stern down, I put it to his face. That's more than I can tell for some of these rat, rat bastards. Do you sincerely seem upset about that? Upset? I'm, I'm livid. That, that's why he invited me down here, because he wants me to, to, to battle with three asses? That's wrong. Why didn't he tell me that yesterday, Pat? The reason you're coming down is because we want you to have a big argument with three guys. You know what I tell him? Forget about it. I don't have to defend myself. Of what? What did I do wrong? Because three, three people said I said that, 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 that Howard is bad. That's wrong. It's a lie. And I'm defending myself here, and I shouldn't do it. I got to get up at 6, 6, 30, 7 o'clock in the morning for this? For what? Who is this man? God? He can't play with me. He can't intimidate me. I'll intimidate him. He's an educated man, but my common sense devours him. My common sense devours him. But he ain't put me on trial here today, because I ain't taking that crap. Now, if he's looking for sweeps week, and he wants me to be part of his bullshit, that's wrong. Wait a three and a half months. How did he call me three months ago? Why don't he invite me as a, as a guest? Just say, well, got Barry, got Gary Delabody, so if you want to come on the show, uh, if you sell something. I'm not a peddler. I'm not a peddler. I'm not a guy who's got to push Pat to come on Howard to sell. I come on Howard I'm a great guest. Remember that. Because this is wrong. You don't fuck with people's life. You don't fuck with people's dignity. My dignity is worth more than anything. And I showed it on this show. And when I go against my mother, my sisters, my brothers, my uncles, my aunts, honestly, and give him, and give him the show, he should say, hey, wait a minute, not this guy. But he defended Sam Kinison's brother the other day. When somebody says, Sam Kinison's brother called you Lola. I want to see the tape. I don't believe it. Sam, Sam is my friend. Oh, Pat Cooper's not your friend. Pat Cooper's not your friend. Why, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, Howard. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. This is fucking war. Because you're not going to produce people for your fucking fame. I don't care if I never work another day in my life, but he can't do that to me. He won't do that to me, because I'll wreck that fucking studio. I'll wreck that fucking studio. That'll have to carry me out of here, because you're fucking with my life. We got a problem on our hands. Do you know about this? No, what? All right. I've invited Pat Cooper in today, because I, first of all, Pat Cooper is one of the few guests on this show that always has an open invitation. Yeah. And Pat is out there screaming and yelling in the hall, and nobody thinks it's a foot on. It's not. What's he screaming about now? He's, he's, he feels... He knows that we're going to have people here. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, now I'm glad I'm no, inside. No, 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 no. I mean, listen, listen. <laughs> Here's Pat, the deal. We Pat. were having a discussion with Pat on the air two weeks ago about the reports we were getting that he was bad-mouthing you right. in public. I didn't believe the reports because, after all, Pat's my friend. I mean, yes. who else gets an open invitation? I've said, I Never think of Pat like a father. A, has a problem here. Right. I think of Pat like a father. All right, a grandfather. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. And I said, gee, I can't believe Pat's going around town bad-mouthing me. And Pat's out in the hall going nuts. And he, you know how you know it's real? Because wow. he's been calling Gary all week screaming at him. No, no, he wow. called me right after it happened, right after we had him on the air like two weeks ago. He called me I just want to clear the air. And, the next and he was really upset. He doesn't understand Get that him in just here. just trying to clear the air. I'm just trying to clear the air. I remember the phone calls. He was belligerent then, yep. thinking that we were somehow setting him up and believing these other guys. No, the only reason I believed these other guys was that the calls were coming in separate. In other words, it was like, uh-oh. Is he going to be all right? 
There's been some discussion that Pat's gonna like come in here and beat me up. Tom said are you, in the hall. Pat, are you gonna beat me up? I'm on trial. I told him, forget me. Uh oh. Because it's wrong. <laughs> I'm your friend, and I don't want to hear no three idiots turn around and tell sit you. Sit down. No, sit no, down. No, no, sit down. You're blocking my camera. I, I don't care about come your on, camera. Come on. Come on. Seriously. Sit camera. down. You're blocking remember, my camera. Don't be a part-time friend. No. You'll be a hundred percent friend to me. Now because hold I'd put myself. Hold it a second. I'd have thrown myself all out of it. I'd have thrown myself all out for you. No, you're out of line. No, you're out of line. No, you're out of line because you turn around. Don't call me for three months. Then you get three skivosas who call up and say, "Pat Cooper, better." Now there's where you're wrong. I didn't call you for three months because I, you were the only guest who has an open invitation. You had, you had a hook. You had a hook. Don't give me that. You're looking for a hook to get me riled up. You got me riled up. I've been riled up since that time you no, called me. Listen, you know, listen. Can, <laughs> can I ask you, you a just question? Call me as Pat Cooper can I ask you a question? You can I ask no, you a no, question? No, no, I don't want you to ask me nothing. Listen, this I don't want you to ask me nothing. This is, is entertainment. Howard, how would, I am a genius of myself. Right. None of you. Right. None of you. You are a genius. I am the one. I'm your biggest fan. I do not allow you or anyone to take my dignity or my pride away. You my know. My mother couldn't can do I... it. My father couldn't do it. And not send you a stranger next to my mother father can't do it. And I'm sick of this crap because you know something? What? You got to be in A company. Don't put me in B company. Don't tell me Sam Kenneth Kennison is your idol. Or Sam Kennison's brother turns around and says, uh, I didn't pay much. I know you didn't because you're just Sam Kennison brother. A drug addict's brother. All right, now listen to me. Listen now to me. Wait now listen to me. Now listen wait a minute. Listen I didn't finish. No. Nope. I didn't finish. Am Don't I going to get a chance? Am I going to get a chance? Don't idolize a drug addict over me. How dare you do that to me? What are you saying? I can't. I, How I, do you idolize you a feel drug addict? Do you feel I idolize Sam Kennedy? What do you tell your children? Do you feel what do you tell your back off? Wait. What do you tell your children? You're going to allow me to what talk? No, I want to finish my conversation. What? I should what do you idolize tell your Pat that Cooper? You turned around and you had a drug addict for your idol. Now, hold what on a second. What does that tell your children? I Not will go to my grave telling my children that Sam Kinison was a great comedian. Whether he's a drug what? addict isn't the issue. Oh, yes, it is the issue. Why is that an issue? Because he was a great comedian when he was on dope. Oh, that's oh, not true. That's, a, that, that's go, insulting. Don't insult <laughs> Sam Kinison yeah. like that. Yeah. You saying to me that Sam Kinison was not a great comedian? I'm not saying that, but he you was a great comedian. You told him when he was alive. I'm, I'm now you're telling me. Now you're being a fake. I'm medication. Now I'm medication. you're telling me you're fake. I'm medication. Now you're, I'm medication. Now you're you telling me you're a fake. My soul, baby. Now you, my now you, soul. Now you exposed soul. yourself. My soul, pal. You exposed yourself. I don't expose nothing. I expose my soul because my problem is you told Sam Kinison. You told Sam Kinison when he was alive that he was a great comedian. I never. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. You said Jackie Mason was the greatest. He you is told great. Me I was the greatest. Everybody's the greatest. No, Roseanne, no, no, I hate no, no, no. You know I hate what? her. I wanted to die. Now you're a paress. I am oh, not. Now you're a paress. No, I'm not. Now you're a paress. No, I'm Come not. On, Come on, give me a break. Hey, 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 hey. I'm you sorry. are so you jealous. Take it, you are you jealous. Power. Give it all the time. You're going to tell me you, when Sam Kinison was alive, you just went around talking about that Sam Kinison was a great comedian. Now that the man's dead, you're going to pee on his no, grave? No, I didn't. That's wrong. Now you got to take it. Now you gotta take it. You now you gotta take no, it. Now you gotta take it. The guy's it. dead in the ground. You wanna I say he sucks no, now? Yeah, now that he was only funny when he was on the cat. He's dead, not me. Don't you I'm give it to me he's like dead, that. Not me. Yeah. That he's dead, not and me. You're gonna, he you're deserves gonna, to die because why? he's not it. Why? Why? He used to crack. The man had a car accident. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like I know. What does that got to do with him being a great comedian? Was he a great comedian? Was he a great comedian? Was Sam Kinison a great comedian? No. No? You always gonna say that now? That's your opinion. After you told him when he was alive he was a great comedian? I never met him. Oh. oh, what happened, Big Mouth? I don't believe big it. Mouth, I never what met about him. you? Where's your Big Mouth? I never mouth? met him. And what's all of this? I never After met him. After I show you respect, I tell you what a great comedian you are. I give you open invitation uh, you told in this Jackie show. Mason. After oh, you told me, everybody's a great comedian. Oh, I look at the I jealousy. Look you know at the I jealousy. Howard, the jealousy. He went the jealousy. back and read the book. He went back and read and, the book. And, and oh, I don't. Howard, can I say something to Pat? Oh, can I say boy. something to Pat? I don't believe this. What I'm Pat, hearing. How many people? I don't. Oh, excuse me. Oh, wait, 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 I don't nerve? believe this. To what I'm hearing. The nerve. The nerve. To defend my dignity. Now listen. Let me ask to you a question. Hold on. A Hold it a second. Who I'm are talking you to now. Tell me I can't defend my dignity. I can't. Who are you to tell me I can't believe this? I can't believe what I'm hearing. I'm a crowd, baby. No more now. I'm a crowd. Who said you're you not? You gotta call me. Well, I'm a contributor. No. no, I'm a contributor. Meanwhile, he tells Leno, "I don't want you to be a bust on my bananas. What? You're busting my balls." Leno. Listen to this. I can't do a week, which I don't know what that I'm gonna be available. I don't, I don't want to do Leno. I don't want to do oh, the Leno okay, show because he's an A crowd. He tells Leno, I have to go on first. He tells Leno, I go on first. Why well, don't go on? What's wrong with that? Oh, I see. Well, but if I do it, I'm a dog. I'm a dog if I defend my dignity. I'm a dog if I defend my Robin, life. Robin, what is he talking? Is he making hey, sense? Don't bring Sit down and let's say Robin. Don't bring your you're talking to Robin, aren't you? You're looking at her. <laughs>
Where are you going? I'm still pissed. Where are you going? Oh, hey, Pat, Pat, come on. Pat, oh, oh, don't leave. Come on, don't leave. No, no, don't you. leave. Yeah, fuck you. Ah, oh, come on, Pat. Don't call me no more. Pat, don't leave. I don't want to come on the show. No, just, just, just do it, do it. Pat, fuck it. Pat, just take a deep breath and come back. Come Pat, on. I can't. I'm fucking by the nerves, Larry. But you know he's kidding. You know he's kidding. Pat, I don't want to be kidding. Pat. Come on, Pat. No more. No more. No more. No more, Jackie. Mind your business. We love you. I don't want to be loved no more. Fuck all you guys who love me. Me, when I'm the cocksucker, he's all turning around, push him aside. When you need a fucking man. Did you, did you, I don't want to be loved no more, Jackie. Did you hear what they did to me? I don't want to be now? fucking loved no more. I don't want to be loved did no you more. Hear what they did don't to fucking me? love me. That's your bills. You get 90,000. You have to take that shit. I don't have to take that shit. <laughs> he's the best. <laughs> I just hope that wasn't his last appearance. It could be. We could have lost him. Because I heard what he was saying. What he did was he went back to the book and got himself all riled Worked up, up with he, everything no, you Let me saying. tell you what's going on then, with Pat. No, no, wait a minute. Because there yeah. are a couple of points he made there that were so garbled, yes. nobody would understand yes. what he was saying. Yes. He wasn't really talking about Sam Kennison. Right. What he said was you said Sam Kennison was great and you forgave his brother right. when you heard he was bad mouthing you because he yes. was Sam Kennison's no. brother, L but you don't give Let Pat me tell you what's chance. going on. Pat, Pat, this is what happened with his family. Yes. There's no, you can't do enough. I sat with Pat time and time again. Well, I didn't hear him on a lot of radio shows. I would have Pat on the He left. He's gone. What is his story? I'm telling you, so, he is he, hurt. Howard, yeah, he, jokes aside, yeah. I've never seen a, a grown man that upset. In Listen, every way let me tell you, you something. Let me you tell you something. you know what it is? It really is about these e-cameras and not being cold. That's what he said. I'm an A person. If you say you all this stuff about yourself because you're an A person, don't treat me like a B person and say, oh, you come in whenever you want me. Call me and tell me yeah, you well, want me. Well, forget it. You don't There's call nothing, me for three months. There is nothing you can I don't call anybody. I know that. And but Pat, Pat is on a loop there. Uh, Pat's on a loop. I, I can't think of anybody who has been kinder and more impressed Open. with the talents of pat cooper than me before any of those other shows were calling pat he i had can't go on here. excuse me let me talk now i okay. cannot get on the air day in and day out and kiss pat cooper's ass whenever <laughs> he is here i've called him a million great things i've only been impressed by the talents of pat cooper there is nobody more impressed with Pat Cooper. You ask my parents, after Pat Cooper's on, we sit there and we discuss everything Pat Cooper said and did. There, I mean, I cannot think of anybody in this business. Listen, I'm hot as a pistol right now, and I always pay homage to the great Pat Cooper. I sit here day in and day out. I don't, I don't listen, every day I don't bring up Pat Cooper, but when he is here and he wants to come do my show, I tell Gary, you tell Pat he has an open we, invitation. We've never if he's said doing no a club, if he's doing anything, ex express to him that I would like him to come on this program. We've now, never said no to I, him. I can't imagine. And there are people who are regulars on this show that I say no to. I tell you, you know what? You've been on too, lo too much lately. Why don't you take a rest for a while because the audience will get sick of you. Give it a break. And I have, from time and time again, since the beginning of this show, Robin, you know it as long as you've been working with me, I have only, with one guest, said, Pat, come in any time that you want. But now he's upset about that because yeah. he feels he has to have something to plug before I he can never come on. thought in my life I would be um, subject to the antagonism that I just saw because I said to a guy, please come on whenever you want. That, it, that shows to me that the man does not have logic. Howard, no. can I just point something there out? There is no logic. Can I just point something out that yeah. I wanted to say to Pat? Pat seems to be obsessed with this. You said Jackie Mason was a genius in the book. Jackie but Mason is a genius. Was, and, and there's room for a lot of geniuses, but I wanted to point out, how many times has Jackie Mason been on the show? Once. How many times has Pat been on the show? 50, 75? Excuse me. And you know how many times Jackie Mason has called here since we had him on to come back on and I've said no? Right, because you like to space things out. Pat is an... Forget space out. Pat is a great guest. Pat knows how to work this radio program. I am not silent about it. I'm the first. Listen, you think Letterman started having Pat Cooper on because uh, because of what? Out of the clear blue? Well, that's I know what, what Letterman's shtick is. He li this is the big audition for the Letterman show. Pat couldn't get on those shows before no. he started Howard, doing this show. You know what his biggest yeah. gripe was before he came in? Was that I refuse to be um, insulted by Pat Cooper because now I'm hurt. Uh -oh. Now, when now I sit bad. and listen to a <laughs> tirade against me, someone who's been a big supporter, look. I got ratings before Pat Cooper. I'll get ratings after Pat Cooper. The point is, I like Pat a lot.
I think Pat's hysterically funny, as we just heard. I mean, that was a brilliant performance. Mm. But there is nothing I can do to please the guy. As a matter of fact, i got to tell you something. So all of these people called. Li listen, this is what happened. Let me, let me, uh, let me uh, tell people what happened. Gary's sitting back in the office, and a couple of months ago, we, or I don't know, weeks ago, he receives a call that Pat, some, some fan said Pat was bad-mouthing me somewhere because I haven't had him on in a while. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, you didn't react to the first phone no, call. No, I didn't. Then um, a couple of weeks later, Gary got a call from some other individual who said, hey, I ran into Pat in the village. Pat's a New Yorker. You know, he's, he's, he lives in Vegas sometimes, but he's in New York a lot. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was really funny that Pat was going around bad-mouthing me, but that's Pat. I didn't ban him from the show or anything, right. so I said, hey, let's call Pat and have him, you know. So Pat was yelling at them, and I thought it was really great radio. So today, we had all the people lined up to come in and face Pat, and let's have it. Uh-oh. It would have been great <laughs> radio, and it would have been great for Pat. He's not on trial. Yeah, but he doesn't want to be part of a trial. He doesn't want to get into the fun of it. And can I point out something else? Because Pat was ranting about something that was hard to understand and hear that we discussed off the air quite a bit. Yeah. Uh-oh. About a day or two oh. after Pat... We had this thing on the air with Pat. A listener called in one morning at about 7 o'clock and said, Hey, uh, Bill Kinison's got a radio show in some place in California. He's bad-mouthing you. Yeah. And you said— I said, wait till I hear the tape. I, I wait till I hear the tape, but I'm sure Bill wasn't bad-mouthing me because Bill's a good friend. And then that had that's what set Pat off to call me again because he said, wait a minute. So I heard the how, tape. How come— I heard the tape, and Bill was nothing but complimentary. Yeah. But but this was even before how I heard the tape, and, and Pat's whole beef was, wait a minute. I've been a friend to you guys forever, and I'm on trial— and somebody calls up and says, Bill did this, and right away, oh, no problem. Right. I, I explained that he was saying that Bill got a, a no, buy it was a because different, he was Sam Kinison's brother. Wrong. It's a different situation. Bill Kinison was on tape. All I had to do was hear the tape, which I did, and I, didn't, I wasn't insulted by it at all. But Pat wasn't waiting for that. He simply right. reacted when he heard you were going to listen to Howard, the tape. Howard, guys, this thing goes back even further. Pat's biggest gripe before was that you didn't invite him on your E-interview show. Right. Yeah, well, that, and then, uh, you know what, you know and, what? And now you want him during sweeps. No. Oh, now I want him during <laughs> yeah. sweeps. Oh, yeah. oh, I see. No, <laughs> he's but, all are there sweeps on he's, he's really paranoid. I tried to explain there isn't sweeps on E. I don't know if there is, but I said there wasn't. Pat's, Pat's going insane. So, uh, just so you I, know. I mean, I got it. I mean, I tried to talk to him but he just wouldn't he wouldn't talk like uh, a normal person. I left him at I've the never, elevator. Did you get in the elevator with him? I have never seen another human being that Adam. angry. He was so angry and he was getting on the but elevator. But over what? I I didn't say over anything. Yeah. But we were trying to talk to him and trying to calm him down and it made it he's worse. Always hey, get my father on the phone. Get my father on and the phone. And he said to me, he said, Jackie, don't give me any of the crap. He wouldn't listen to me either and he got on the elevator and I think we were all actually I didn't get on the elevator with him. He was still kind of talking and I just like watched the doors shut because I don't know if I was scared or whether I didn't want to invade his space, but he got in the elevator, and then we thought about it and thought we should chase him. And when we went down the elevator, he was gone. Nobody out there knew which way he went. There was Well, he's like Superman. He's here he with another guy, and the guy said he left his papers here and his he stuff was, here. He was unbelievable. I've never, I, I, I was scared he was going to come here and start beating up people in here. Hey, we got to run that on E tonight. Oh, Why don't yeah. we preempt whatever it is? We're what are we running tonight? It can't be. It can't be what happened today. It can't be well, better. Well, actually, what happened is they even taped Pat outside having a tantrum. Yeah. Ooh. Do we have that on tape? Yes. I wondered if yes. anybody. They did follow him down the hall even when he was leaving, and I understand he got quite uh, obscene. <laughs> they got him. Yeah. The f word. They got him before. Can we play any of that? Can I hear sure. some of it? I mean, I'd like to play it in comment. Yeah, no, they're, they're rolling it off right now. So I think he got a whole half hour of Pat, even though he did seven minutes in here. I think he got more than a half hour. I really <laughs> a lot of bleeping, but he never. Ble with bleeps. Hey, where's Einziger? Einziger, come in here, you lazy bastard. You know, when I think of the people, the list of people who have walked off the show, which is very limited, Right. no one's ever walked off, off like that. What? They're busy rolling it off. Oh, are they rolling it off? I, I was there. It's at least like 20 minutes of tirade. Wow. Nonstop, yelling, threatening to uh, kick your butt and everything. Really? Yeah. My wow. butt? Yeah. He said, I'm going to kick everyone's butt in that studio if I hear, if, if, if you guys bring those three people in here. Three, oh, we had seven. Before. This is before he's talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, oh, you mean all, all, yeah, all the stuff leading up to it. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh -oh. What are you talking about? Uh, I thought you meant afterwards. Oh, everyone be quiet. <laughs> the, o the, only <laughs> people, the only people who have ever left this show or threatened to leave this show, in my memory, are Angie Bowie and Robert Blake. And right. it was nothing like that. I mean, Pat made a grand exit. Yeah. Robert Pat Blake left angry? Well, he, tried to, he tried to leave. Oh. But you have a whole show. I mean, the whole show can end with the elevator door closing. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> she was still going as the door's closed, you know? Hey, I'm a kid. 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 I'm a k
Meanwhile, I'm the cocksucker. He's all turning around, pushing him aside. When you need a fucking man, did you, did you, I don't want to be loved no more, Jackie. Did you hear what they did to me? I don't want to be fucking loved no more. I don't want to be loved no more. Did you hear what they did to me? Don't fucking love me. That's your bill. You get 90,000. You have to take that shit. I don't have to take that shit. 